and our discussion surrounding salah in the 21st century. My dear brothers and sisters, for quantum progress to occur in our lives, it is important that we conduct ourselves with focus. A wise man once said that light illuminates, but light focused is a laser and a laser cuts through steel. An amazing, eloquent statement. With focus, we are able to apply ourselves to whatever we do with great diligence. And Salah, brothers and sisters, nurtures within us this all-important concept of focus. When we observe Salah, we are commanded to face the Qibla, to ensure that we are facing the Qibla, our chest face the Qibla, our feet face the Qibla, and we also are commanded to make sure that our hearts face the Qibla as well. All this entails an acute level of focus in the action we are about to perform. And as many scholars say, that from the correctness of Salah, or from the pillars of Salah rather, is the presence of Khushu'ah. That there is contentment in the action that we are actually observing. Many of us find today that we perform this Salah, but the fruits of the Salah sometimes are not seen in our lives. People say that how come we see people regular with this Salah, but they knee deep in riba, for example, or waist deep in riba, for example. How is it that we see many people performing Salah, but their speech is not the speech of Islam? Their actions are not the actions of Islam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that this Salah puts an end to that which is immoral and that which is disliked. Well, the answer to that question, O servants of Allah and O children of Adam, that their case is a case and Allah knows best. Their case is one where their action lacks focus. Their Salah lacks focus. It is mere bodily worship. But the soul is not involved in that Salah. The heart is not present in that Salah. The mind is not present in that Salah. If we observe this Salah with focus, the way we have been commanded to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the way we've been commanded to observe that Salah, we will find that that Salah will bring about the fruits of the Salah in our life, as well as teach us how to be focused in everything else in our lives. How to be focused during our study, how to be focused during our work, how to be focused during our play. So we conduct ourselves with greater diligence and we ascertain greater results. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he taught us about Islam and then he taught us about Iman and then he taught us about Ihsan, excellence. Excellence for a believer is the minimum requirement. And Salah teaches us how to be excellent in everything that we do. For in our worship, we have been commanded to strive to reach the levels of Ihsan, where we worship Allah as if we see Him. And we cannot see Him, thus we worship Him knowing that He subhanahu wa ta'ala sees us. I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants us the understanding and inspires us to gain from our Salah both the physical benefits as well as the metaphysical benefits. I love you all for the sake of Allah. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.